In this video we're going to make the solids for the two die blocks for the cavity and core halves. Reopen the model toy car surfaces stage 3. When the model is opened turn on layer 5 to redisplay the solid that is going to become the cavity block. Select the solid and press Ctrl J which will temporarily undraw or blank the solid. You'll see that we have a little bit of wireframe that remains from some previous operations. This is no longer needed so you can select it and just press delete to delete it. Press Ctrl L to bring the part back. If you look straight down the z-axis by pressing Ctrl 5, what we want to do next is to design the wireframe for the block itself. This is going to be done using a simple rectangle, but it would be easier to draw this without the solid in place. So what we can do is to press F2 to display the part in a simple wireframe mode. A grid will help us to draw accurately. By default, the grid has a spacing of 10 millimeters. This can be changed simply by entering a new value in the box to the side of the grid icon. We're now going to choose a simple rectangle and just sketch a rectangular block around the part, making sure that we evenly spaced both sides of the part and also that we have sufficient clearance at the back to be able to create the insert for the slide core. We can now turn off the grid. We want to put rounded corners into this part. Simplest way to do that is to use a fillet. By default the fillet radius is 20 millimeters but we can change that. So just type R10. Notice that even though your cursor is in the main window the value gets entered into the command box at the bottom. Press enter to change the value. Now simply click two adjacent lines to create the arc. Press escape to quit the command and you can now interactively pull the radius to any desired value if you need to. There are some instances when it is much quicker and simpler to add corners to an entire composite curve in a single operation. Click on the composite curve tool and then just a single click on the border will trace around the entire composite curve. For more complicated cases you'll be given the option to follow arrows to dictate which direction to go in. Click eject. You'll get a warning that the composite curve has not been saved, but that's okay. Because a shortcut to creating a composite curve is to hold down the Alt key and then click anywhere on the border to create the curve. We can now make a radius of 20 millimeters in all corners with a single click. Press escape to quit the command. Now take the curve and make sure that it is on level 5. Select the curve again, come to home and copy and then paste to make an exact copy just by a simple copy and paste. You can also use Control C and Control V to do exactly the same thing. Select the copy and put it onto level 10. Reactivate the shaded view by pressing F3. Now select the curve, click the solid toolbar and make an extruded solid. 
The drag handles will allow you to change the length to suit. For finer control, double click and you can now enter explicit values if you need to. Select the block solid and make sure that it's active. Then select the main solid that we've just been creating, come to the solids toolbar again, and subtract one solid from the other. This now gives you the main solid for the cavity block. Make sure that is on layer 5 and then turn layer 5 off. Reactivate layer 10 and repeat almost the same procedure. Create a solid extrusion of whatever length you require. Make sure that solid is active and then use a boolean intersect to keep all of the geometry that is inside both solids. When you're finished, save as Toy Car Surfaces Stage 4.